Hello, internet friends. Yes, I am back. I haven't been eaten by an angry wolf or a moose. And I have purchased myself a conqueror. Unfortunately, I only had the free EXPs to get everything except the Top Gun, which is 60,000 XPs. So I can't afford it quite yet. But I had a pretty fun game with the Conqueror. It, uh, it can perform pretty okay when you're top tier. Uh, this match, I, I was pretty top tier. There was only, what is that? Four tier nine tanks. So, yeah. Things don't get much better than this. And when you're not completely decked out, it's not so bad. So, we'll get this game going. 20 seconds before it starts. There was about a week and a bit uh, in between this video and my last video, and that was primarily due to the fact that I got a full-time job again. Uh, I was working part-time working on Pixel Panzers and doing knick-knacky art things that weren't paying me any money because no one wants to pay for art anymore. Um, so I had to get a full-time job uh, to keep everything going, but uh, I'm still hoping to do videos when I can. Uh, I don't get home until later at night. I have to work so hard. But no, I actually paint and make models all day, so it's not really that hard. But at the end of the day, uh, you still gotta pay the bills, right? So, that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Uh, the game I'm working on is pretty cool. It's a tablet game, and I can't really talk about it because I, I signed an NDA saying that I wouldn't talk about it. But um, if I can or will, I will show you guys what it uh, looks like when it's in a presentable way that people can take a look at it. And no, I haven't been able to get on the test server yet. I've been too busy with everything else. So unfortunately, no test server for me. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm going to shoot that. I'm like, there's no way that Centurion is just sitting in the open like that. So I'm going to side scrape out, put a shot into him gonna drive off the cliff and yeah yep that just happened <laughs> I uh, I wasn't expecting the centurion to, to jump down the embankment and smash the front of his tank in uh, to try to get the 132 but he did and uh, yeah that was pretty cool <laughs> so I'm trying to side scrape I can see that we have an ST1 and I did manage to pan his upper plate or lower plate so that was good I am getting a lot more games in with my tier 9s because I want to try and get as many tier 10s as I can because I plan on playing some clan wars as soon as I am possibly capable of because um, I think it would be fun because I'm not really playing team battles anymore and I don't like the league as much because the tanks are stale. I mean, how many battles can you drive in a 1390 or an IS-3 or a 5100 before your brain slowly turns into mush playing the seven same maps over and over again? So, until Wargaming gets their head out of their ass, I'm not going to be playing any more team battles. I'm going to do stronghold crap, things like that, and I managed to take a shot at the tracks from the STI. All right. <laughs> Had a minor, minor explosion in the computer there for a sec. I'm not sure if this video is recording properly or not at this point, but uh, we're going to pretend that it is. So I'm getting some good shots with this T32. I don't need to be shooting prime rounds at him, but at this point, I don't really care. Wow. I don't know if Windstorm is just hammering my computer or whether the replay system has just gone to crap. Fappy fappy. And this T-30 does not have the main gun, the big gun. And I take another hit from him, but I managed to take him out. I'm taking a fair bit of unnecessary damage. Um, Conqueror. Conqueror armor is not super fantastically amazing, but it does aim like a mother trucker. And, oh, oh, I'm running into two T-71s, and I don't notice them until there. And, but I get around. A quick shot into the T-71. This thing aims so bloody fast. It's one of the things I like about it. It matches my playstyle, which is get in, take a shot, aim really quick, and do the damage that you can. And unfortunately for me, I missed that shot. And 
my pal Ferrito. He's over there on the left. He's going to engage the STI. Trying to get around. I'm a little bit worried about getting shot in the back by the T-71, but I do get around the corner and get a quick shot into the back of the STI because he wasn't quick enough to get out of the bloody way. And if you zoom out far enough, you can see a T-71 drive into the lake. Yeah. Yeah. What a turd. So, he's dead. Don't have to worry about killing him now. Thanks for drowning, DR Huck. You suck, dude. Anyway, back to the game. So, trying to run down this STI. Ferrito is a one hit for him, and I'd rather like it if he just didn't die. So I'm going to come around. Put a shot into the IS. STI died previous to this. <laughs> so I'm going to move up, see if I can get another shot into this fella. And... Ding dong. Not enough to kill him. Too bad for me. And... Did manage to get that last shot in and take him out. So, this game was pretty close to over at this point. We had a lot of tanks left, and only their M103. So, I'm driving up here, and he's at 98. 98 HPs! And he's hiding around the corner. No one wants to go around. No one can take a shot from him, pretty much except for me. So, I'm going to drive up, because everyone's afraid. <laughs> T-71 was kind of laughing at people, because no one wanted to go up. So, I just decided to take it because no one else was going to do it. I didn't really care at this point. So, I'm going to get up here and. Couldn't get the gun down, but Bingo Bango took him out. Up to three kills. And. <laughs> didn't mean to hit the T71 there. But I'm going to get one shot into the Super Pershing before he gets finished off. And that's it. That is like my third game or something in the Conqueror. And the funny story is, this dumbass Canadian decided that he was going to throw his Carnarvon crew in the Conqueror. And instead of training that Carnarvon crew for the Conqueror, he decided that he's going to play two games with an untrained crew. And I actually didn't even notice that they weren't untrained because the tank handled so well that... I didn't notice. Like, the gun was still aiming fast, the turret was turning okay, the tank was moving pretty quick because I had all the modules pretty much. And yeah, I just didn't notice. And then I looked over and like, why are my numbers red? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty stupid. So, <laughs> all in all, not too bad. Uh, I like the Conqueror so far. I can't wait until I get the bigger gun, but I am liking the, the B-barrel. Um, I'm actually thinking I might switch back to the B-barrel on the Centurion because I'm finding it just takes way too long to fire. And when you get up close to people, and in a lot of maps, you're, the maps are small. And you don't, you don't get the big lanes of firing and sniping and ridge humping that you get on a great map like Steps. Um, a lot of the time you get into a map where it's like this. You don't really have a lot of like, long-range shooting going on. And the B-barrel actually is more friendly than the big guns. So... I'm hoping uh, in the future to be able to keep keep keeping up the the videos. I I don't even know if it's any and if there's any point in me doing anything for the uh, the test server at this point. I mean, most people have already watched Jingles do it. They've already watched KB do it. They probably watched Sircon do it, or Mr. Falkers do it, or a hundred other people do it. So honestly, I don't really think people need to see the Captain Canada's version of it because. I'm just going to talk about beavers and moose and wolf packs and um, dog sleds and whatever else, and people are going to get sick of it. So let's just go with the Conqueror, and yeah, we'll just go with that. So another thing I'd like to bring up is I've got about five or six tier 9 tanks, and I pretty much refuse at this point to play this game by myself. So if you're a subscriber and you have no one to play with and you're bored or you don't, you're, you're sick of getting killed over and over and again, and you would rather get killed playing with me, um, please add me to the friends list and invite me to your platoon. If I can, I will um, join. Um, 
Sometimes I'm already platooned up. Sometimes I'm doing other things. So don't get mad if I don't respond or I don't accept. But at the end of the day, I don't enjoy playing this game by myself. <laughs> I can only stomach playing it if I'm playing with people I like. So that would be you guys. That would be my platoon mates. That would be my clan mates. So please invite me. I want to play. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.